So what's going on, Toxic Gamers? We got a situation at our hands. Gamers are not stopping, though. Everywhere I'm looking like gamers going crazy right now because ever since the journalists started calling gamers to be toxic, problematic, menace to society, gamers don't deserve to live. Gamers have it everywhere, okay? Gamers are simply saying we're gonna vote with our wallets and guess what? Concord sitting at eight players right now. <laughs> sitting at eight players. Like the video if you think they're two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. I mean, damn, homie, eight people playing the game. I mean, that's kind of tough. Of course, the, the app has been retired. Bruh. In other words, they have delisted the game because the game turned out to be so bad. Uh, shout out to the homie uh, Steed uh, Stead Muffin for subscribing. What a name right Bruh. there. What a name. We're going to keep it in, okay? But I got a bunch of clips that I want to share with you guys. And this is going to knock your socks off. The hair on the back of your neck going to stand up because apparently Concord's massive flop hasn't faced Sony, which reportedly feels very positive. Basically, they're saying that PlayStation is feeling very positive, releasing another one of the Concord-like game. So they haven't learned anything. PlayStation's uh, move to America won't change its DNA. So basically, they were claiming that, you know, if PlayStation headquarter goes to California, it's not gonna change. Guess what, man? That was a big old cap, okay? Their DNA change, their DNA change, their DNA change, everything change about them, okay? But shout out to the homie Asmund Gold. Check this one out, roll it. Its massive flop hasn't faced Sony, which reportedly feels very positive about its next live service from Assassin's Creed veteran. What is Fair Games? Uh -oh. Have I seen this? Wait for it, wait for it. I gotta okay. show you like this you as well. You wanna know about us? Seems like everyone does these days. It's simple. So as you're watching this, you're probably thinking this is gonna be like the craziest next-gen PlayStation game, but uh oh, wait for it. Too much money and too much power is held by just a few people. And it's yeah, I can pennies. see why people are gonna think this is like Concord. Yeah, I definitely Worse. can see that. For it's sure. Concord 2.0 is what people are saying. So, we decided to do something about it. I think a lot of people are kind of tired of the self-righteous people that are like, we're stealing from rich people because like we don't have money. Cause like, how does this give you the right to steal something from somebody, right? W why is that? Why is that okay? Let's go. <laughs> so what's the game plan? Yeah, here we go, man. It's a high cool. I'm something like you. My drink and drive two were nine to fives when I was in high school. This is like a heist game. This my pick. I'll crop you. Maybe to the game set. My I do's got a window seat like Eric Badu. That's fire. Red beat kind of fire. Okay. Okay. Game kind of trash, but okay. There we go. GTA 6 gameplay right there, boys. <laughs> Man, these seconds better not walk if I GTA 6, okay? Leave GTA 6 alone, man. I don't want to see GTA 6 being like that. I hope they... Okay, I'm sending a prayer out right now. Guys, everybody, take your hands, okay? Take your hands. Please don't turn Jason into a strong, independent queen, okay? Like, don't do that. Bruh. Let Jason be Jason, okay? Come on, man. Like, come on. Anybody's name Jason? Watching this video, let me know, Jason. Like, I, I, I want your prayers out. I mean, I mean, literally no gameplay shown, right? Yeah, it's CG, CGI. Woke payday. Looks Walk like trailer. trash, stylistically. <laughs> like, I find it to be very off-putting, oh the self-righteousness that people oh, like this man. have, and I think that games that are made like this, and it's, like, called fair games, I hate yeah. that mentality. If you want to go steal from people, go ahead, but, like, don't ever go tell me that you're Robin Hood. Eat the rich, and the game is the most corpo vision ever. The irony of a live service game based on eating the rich is levels of irony I can't comprehend. Eat the rich creates a games as a service with seasonal battle pass and many, millions of microtransactions. Eat the rich gamers, just ignore the fact that we showed our game. So Sony's not learning anything. They lost easily $99 million, right? Apparently what we, we don't know for a hundred percent whether these circuits spend a hundred million US dollars or two hundred million US dollars. So but what we know is that they spent between hundred million to two hundred million US dollars making Concord. <gasps> And apparently what we're now learning is that they most probably have made around, give or take, a million US dollars. 
So even if they spent $100 million, they lost $99 million US dollars. So they're not learning anything, man. I guess get what go broke up they're they're gonna learn real quick with this game as well but i want to i want to show you another one game in a mega corporation sizzle. i just like i never even thought of like all the irony with this but like reading the comments oh my god this is this is so concord <laughs> just came out you're next <laughs> okay check this one out so uh oh shout out to the homie yellow flesh roll this let me ask you ladies and gentlemen a question do you think sony's changed since they moved to america i think they have that's why i find this old article from gamesindustry.biz yeah. pretty funny PlayStation's move to America won't change its DNA. I, I think that it has changed their DNA. I think a lot of people would agree with that statement facts, as well. Facts, facts. Some big changes have happened to them. Now, they moved to America because, well, at the time, only one out of 18 PS5s sold in Japan. Now, the market has shifted. At least when it comes to console sales, it definitely has. So, I think it's pretty clear that the move did affect them. I wish they had just stayed in Japan. I really do. I think things would be a little bit different, but oh, they decided absolutely. to go all in on the West. And thanks to that, it's led to... I mean, don't don't put your company in California, man. Failures like Concord. Now, to be fair, Sony's still doing very well. They're very much winning the console war, if you exclude Nintendo, and you just looked mm, at mm, traditional mm, consoles. Yeah. Xbox not doing nearly as well as PlayStation. Yeah. Though I do think that the console market... Uh, I, I wonder how long it's going to stay, especially with the rise of PC gaming and the buy-in cost for PC gaming not really being that high anymore. I mean, you could get... I, I mean, listen, man, like... If Xbox is doing that, like, how can they win, right? Like, how can they win, man? And Sony is like, they're not learning with it, right? Like, Concord, massive slop, man. Mass they had to shut down this game and issue refunds to the customers, man. <laughs> and Sony, they don't like giving refunds, man. That's one beautiful thing about Sony, though. They don't love giving refunds. And the fact that they're issuing refunds, I, I mean, they don't learn anything, right? I'm pretty sure back uh, behind the scenes, they're literally panicking with fair games as well, right? They're new, like, hey, upcoming life service trash, right? But, okay, let's find out. Let's find out. A PC that's equivalent to a PS5, if not better, for around the same price. Mm. And you could do a lot more with a PC than you can with a PlayStation. Let's be, let's be fair. You can do a lot more with a PC. You do actual work on it, <laughs> even if it is a gaming PC, but... Concord, big failure. Today's the last day, ladies and gentlemen. And we've got 39 players on Steam. Uh, what is that, like three matches <laughs> right now going on on Steam? So uh, uh, what we're now learning is that the game has been taken off, right? Like it's September the 7th right now. So last record was like 11 hours ago. It's been retired. It's been retired, guys. It's been retired. So you can see like the moment it was retired. So people were like, okay, one last time. One last, one last time, man. So 52 people enjoyed it and all of a sudden, BAM son, <laughs> BAM son, and down to 14 and now it's like back to 8 right now. Let me give it a nice little refresh. Let's see, okay, 8 people still enjoying the game. I suppose like these might be devs, uh, might be people that, yeah, probably, right? Like 8 devs perhaps playing the game. That's cute, that's cute. Or perhaps like these are people that have not closed their application yet. So that's probably why. So as soon as they close their application, it's over. <laughs> it's over, man. If they close the application, it's over, man. Maybe that's what it is, but I doubt it. They must have like shut the servers down completely. So it gotta be like the devs, though. That's what I'm thinking. But either one over the other. Maybe a little bit better if you have crossplay on, but I can't imagine that many more people are playing over on PlayStation right now. Tomorrow mm -hmm. the game shuts down completely. A oh, catastrophic has. failure for sure. Uh, but it doesn't stop here. There's another game coming out, which makes me uh -oh. wonder what's in the Sony pipeline right now, because this wasn't their only game. They've got another one coming out, another live service game. Let me rephrase it that way. And this live service game is something else. It's called Fair Game, and a lot of people are calling it Concord 2.0. 2.0, yeah. It's a good reason. We're just going to go I through. wouldn't even call it like Concord 2.0. It's like Concord 1.5. Uh, I, I, and before some some of you guys are like yeah, yeah, that's because it's a like Concord minus uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.5 or something like, go for it. That's fair, man. That's fair, Habibi. Go for it. For this trailer a little bit here. Go for it. And I'm not gonna play any music because it's got some rap song on it. Because I guess you know everybody loves rap. Mm -hmm. So here's how the trailer starts mm -hmm. out. Eat the rich, of course. Eat the rich. This is woke Robin Hood. Which, if you remember, there was already a show that existed. Do cheat the rich. Eat the rich, okay? So they got like both of them. Ooh, kind of crazy, okay? We not crazy. And this game looks just as bad. So this game is trying to chase that modern audience, that big successful audience that's going to jump up and just start buying things like crazy. Uh, we saw the modern audience and their buying power with 
Concord, and Dustborn. I'm sure they're going to come out for this one too. So it's a typical modern audience. Modern audience buying power said no one ever, man. <laughs> that is crazy, man. But listen, bruh. People are fed up with that bull squash, though, right? Like, gamers are done with that, man. How many live service games do we need, bro? Why can't we just get a solid multiplayer game? Why can't we just get a solid single player game without the woke politics, without any sort of politics? Just good games and good gameplays, good stories. That's what we want. Live service name alone is just a death sentence right now for a video game, bruh. Unless you're Fortnite and yeah, whatever. Like there are some games I can get by, but Fortnite has been around for like has been around for so many years. Uh, and, and Fortnite, I would say like I don't play it, but every time I do, like I enjoy my time. It ain't even that bad, right? But Fortnite is mostly for the kids, but everybody plays. It's like for everywhere. Like anybody can play Fortnite. And the last time I checked, Fortnite was also thankfully not woke. They are simply making sure that they go crazy with the events, crazy with the content. And you know what? They're doing what they think is right for their community. And I can respect that even though I don't play that game, okay? I Yeah, the last time I played was a couple of months ago, maybe even a year ago at this point. I don't even remember when was the last time I played exactly, okay? But live service games nowadays, it, the name alone, right? Live service just means that it's going to get frequent content. And honestly, it's a good thing. It is a good thing though, but wait for it, wait for it, I'm getting to it, I'm getting towards it, right? Live service alone should have been a beautiful thing for the gaming community, but it's not, because the only live service thing about video games nowadays is that microtransactions, $20, $30, $50,000 microtransactions, of course I'm exaggerating, but you get the, the idea, like Call of Duty, $80, King Kong Punch, right? More expensive than the game itself. Then they came out with a $100 weapon skin, and some of some of the people were defending Call of Duty and Activision. Very few people, but I saw that people were saying that it's just a reward, guys. It's just a reward, game. Look at how nice Activision is being by giving us a $100 weapon skin as a reward, bruh. You have to give them $100. That's when you get it. That's when you're gonna get it. That's not a reward, bro. That's not a reward, man. What are we talking about? People are fed up with every single game being live service and, and that means microtransactions galore every uh every week sometimes bi-weekly even right people are done with that man like that's some bull squash bro like holy crap like how much can you nickel and dime the consumer right like they, they have done it so much that this what happens now like people see a live service game and people are automatically like yeah that's trash people don't even want to give it a second chance people don't even want to look at it perhaps it might be good right can i mean that's fair to say perhaps like uh let's wait for the gameplay let's wait to see the gameplay let's wait to play okay that's fair to say right you would think that's fair to say right but now nah, gamers are done with it and i'm also done with it like i don't blame anybody claiming this game to be trash like it looks tra uh, trash first of all the principle the idea behind is completely trash it's wokeified like crazy like to hell similar to concord but forgetting about the woke stuff for a minute it's another piece of trash. It's a live service trash, bro. It's gonna be microtransactions galore. Like, do you really wanna pay $20 weekly, $100 weekly, right? It's it's insane. The only reason this game exists is solely to rob your wallets. They're not doing heist in the game. They're doing heist on your wallets. That's their idea right now. That's their idea right now, bro. It sucks, man. Like, this is modern gaming right now, man. Holy crap, man. Back in the days, we, we would get like, listen, I wasn't a big fan of Killzone, but Killzone was way better than anything Sony is producing in terms of multiplayer. What, what's going on with single player games? Where are the games, PlayStation? Where are the games, Sony? And same goes with Xbox too, right? Like, where are the games? I'm, I'm talking equally for all the gaming industry right now. Where are the games, man? Can a brother just get good games, man? Is that so hard? Is that too hard to ask? The only game that I'm genuinely looking forward to is GTA 6. <laughs> and I'm kind of worried, man. I'm kind of worried. I'm kind of worried, man. Like, I hope they don't turn Jason around, man. Uh, like and subscribe if you don't want Jason turning out to be a strong, independent queen, bro. The game. They're trying to do it with a Robin Hood twist. This is basically now people are calling it Concord 2.0, and for good reason, mm -mm -mm. right? I, once you see the characters, you understand, and you should see them in a second as soon as they come in. And the whole thing is like it's woke payday. So they're calling it Concord 2.0, but what this game basically is is a woke version of payday, except maybe crews can compete with each other. So you basically go in and do a heist with another crew that's doing a competing heist. And there's uh, some of the characters. You've got non-binary woman. 
And then you've Love got it. strong POC woman, the leader. Love it. And this is supposed to be what the gameplay will look like. So I'm sure it's really got everybody just jumping for joy right now. And it, It's CGI, first of all. Gameplay is going to look way trash than that. Machine that they could get on here and play this game. Some awful, awful designs, too. Uh, this game is going to be a massive hit, I'm sure. I'm sure it won't fail nearly as bad as Concord. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. Uh, but I also don't see this game blowing the doors off of any sales charts either. This if, it, if it's free to play, then it's going to do maybe like a couple thousand. Maybe. Maybe. You know? Live service push that these companies are doing. Sony's not the only one trying to chase that Fortnite dollar. They're all trying to get it because the money is Man. so good. But they're just not going to be able to pull it off. I feel like when you're trying to do it... It's Every game is still to this day. Fortnite came out when exactly? Like 2017, 2018, right? Or maybe that's when it became popular. Maybe it came out even before that. I don't know. But I believe 2017, 2018. At least that's when it became popular. That's when people were starting to find that out. And yeah, like, I mean, Fortnite's Fortnite, right? Like, it, it did well. It, it succeeded. Why? Because it was unique for the time. And also, they cared for their community. And by the looks of it, they still do care for their community. They, they drop, like, crazy good content that's free. Right, but of course, like it's free to play, so they're charging money for the skins as well, which are optional. You don't have to buy them, right? And on top, uh, it's not wokeified to hell. And also, they care for the the customer, they care for the gamers, they care for their events and the free content being good. And they frequently drop. The frequency is very high, right? At least the last time I checked. Now it's been a couple of years. Maybe it's not the, on the same level. But the last time I checked, like I I I, ha I have good memories of what I was seeing coming out in the game but the, the the see the problem is that still to this day how many years has it been six years seven years still to this day people i should say publishers are still trying to chase the bag still trying to copy the model it's not working for these suckers out here it worked for fortnite because different times and also they they really up the frequency and the quality of the content that they were delivering Everyone else couldn't even, still to this day, cannot match the frequency and the quality of Fortnite. And I get that. Fortnite is more like an animation, a cartoonish game, right? So I suppose, like, the gra yeah, graphics are not, like, the main thing. But it looks pretty on the eye. It's very colorful and very easy on the eye. Kids love it, and even old old gamers love it as well, right? Like, it's it's one of those games that, if you like it, you like it. And anybody from all, anyone from all walks of life, all walk of life can play. It doesn't matter what's your age is, what your age is, right? Anybody can play it. But with games like these, the quality is the same, man. It just screams cash grab. That's what it is it's just not going to happen it just won't i don't even think apex legends was big when it first came out i think it took time for that to take off like it is now like that's a pretty big game but it, it did blow up initially i believe like they done uh, 100 million players very quickly this ain't it uh, this is just not it just more bad designs another woke twist it's turning people off if you just look at the comments on this trailer i mean it's bad you can actually feel sony sweating nervous nervously through the screen you want to know about us? No. <laughs> That's something she says in uh, the trailer. We don't see full comments, but it's fine. Uh, the strong woman POC lead. Uh, these developers are definitely sweating buckets right now. Guys, we're going on a heist. Prepare yourselves. All right, let me just put on my giant hoop earrings. <laughs> Cancel it. There's still time. You can save 50 million. You sure you want to go through with this after Concord, Sony? The irony of a live service game based on eating... I I'm pretty sure they're panicking, though. Like, here's the thing. These games have been in development for years and years, right? So, uh, for how long uh, Fair Games was in development? Eight years? I mean, if that was uh, in development for eight years, bruh. I, I, I don't even feel bad for Sony at that point. I mean, I feel bad. Like, come on, man. That's like, holy crap. Concord was in development for eight years. Okay, now we got seven. We got seven people playing, guys. Damn, man. Damn, seven people. That's one less guy playing the game, man. Or one less go uh, gal playing the game. Insane, man. Absolute insanity, bro. Like The rich is levels of learn. irony that even I can't comprehend, and I'm fueled by it. Concord 2.0, about to hit it. Stop giving your money to people who hate you. Just stop it. Yeah, I won't be buying this game, and I don't think I'm going to be the only one. People are pretty tired of this shit, man. Are and they really going to charge money for this game, though? If it's free, then I can see, like, a couple people playing, a couple thousand people playing. If it's, like, for $40 again, or, you know, God forbid, $70, you know, $70... Uh, like a triple a title or like a quadruple a title similar to ubisoft it's over it is over in this game who even knows where it is in development i don't do they give it they just say coming to pc and ps5 that's all they have on there and this trailer came yeah. out last year so it's probably pretty far along by now based on the fact that we got that trailer last year i'd imagine that there's quite the build at least right now i, I suppose so what, what we're now hearing is that ps5 pro is going to be getting announced and revealed 
at State of Play or maybe PlayStation Showcase, which is happening this month, like in, in a few days from now. That's the rumor, that's the leak. We'll see if that turns out to be true or not. And, and during that, they're saying they're gonna announce PS5 Pro. Maybe they're also gonna announce uh, this game as well, you know? Uh, maybe it's gonna say, uh, captured on PS5 Pro. That's gonna be one hell of a way to market the console. <laughs> Ooh, buy the PS5 Pro and play fair games, right? Like, holy crap, if they do that. I can't man. wait to talk about the PC numbers on this game. Because we'll yeah. get to see them right away, because I'm sure they're gonna do an open beta, like they did last time with Concord. That's gonna be real fun. We also have some comments from some people that worked on the game to make sure you know that the game is full of inclusiveness. Very important thing that Haven love Studios it, wants you to know. A big selling point. Uh, many games. And it's being made by Haven Studios. We talked about Haven Studios, right? And Haven Studios is something, somebody, like, it's a studio that we have heard for years, right? I remember, like, all the way back in 2020, I was making videos and we had leaks that they're working on a groundbreaking game, groundbreaking game. So I guess it's fair to say, by the time the game comes out, it's gonna easily be in development for four or five years minimum. Insane, because I, yeah, I remember, was it 2021 or 2020? But I remember, like, we had leaks, like, they were putting this together, right? So easily four or five years in development by the time it comes out, and I don't think it's coming out, like, uh, anytime soon. When I say anytime soon, it's probably either, I guess, best, uh, best case scenario by the end of this year, realistically next year towards the like summertime or by the end of next year that's when i think it's gonna come out so by the time it comes out easily gonna be in development for five years minimum and i'm saying minimum that's insane because we heard that haven studios was working on this game and what we heard was like hey it's gonna be a crazy groundbreaking ip you know playstation exclusive gonna be a big title suckers were shaking everybody was like oh my god oh my god playstation coming out with a, with a crazy game and listen man i do play on playstation right like that's that's what i grew up with i have playstation and it's just going downhill, man. Like, where are the games? And I'm talking in general with Microsoft, uh, PlayStation, Sony, Xbox, right? Generally, I'm talking generally. Where are the games, PlayStation and Xbox? What's going on with y'all suck us out here? It's like, you you always say, no, man, Xbox 360 cannot. It doesn't have the power. Xbox One don't have the power. PS4 don't have the power. I get that. Consoles do. Yeah, and of course, it's a fact, right? 2013 hardware is not gonna be up to par with 2024 games but crap man like i i, I prefer uh, ps3 ps4 era xbox 360 era xbox one era of video games though because games were at least uh, they had a soul they they had a soul the stories were amazing gameplays were good yeah graphics were not as good as today i uh, yeah absolutely graphics have advanced in some cases i mean like concord graphics were just trash Fair banks, or I should say, fair games, not banks. Uh, uh, whoa, right? Like fair games graphics. I can assure you, it's gonna be trash as well. What we're looking at is CGI gameplay. That's CGI. So gameplay is probably gonna be trash as well. So graphically speaking, I mean, shit, man. Like these games looks like PS4 to this day. Some games PS3. Star Wars looks like a PS3 game, right? Texture wise, games definitely that have used that as their selling point have just done so well. Massive hits for sure. So the official description attached to the game is your chance to rob the rich and rebalance the scales fair game is competitive modern heist game where you team up to break into exotic locations and steal the cargo the twist you not only need to outsmart guards and security systems you also compete against other teams oh wow it concluded crews that extract with the most loot and flair might just rise to the top of fair game take it till you make it who will your first recruit be well they're gonna have a hard time finding recruits for this one <laughs> if, if concord <laughs> is an indication of just how sick people are of this, right. of this stuff. I think they're going to have a hard time. So there was another blog post where the creative director came out and described the game as a fresh, modern take on the heist game. In a nutshell, this is a thrilling, competitive heist game where you join an underground movement to rob the ultra- Thrilling, guys. Check out this video on the screen, man. Recently, this just went down. I'm not sure if you guys actually saw it or not. We got some PS5 Pro and GTA 6 gameplay leaks going around. Yeah! Check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. We got insane drama with Dr. Disrespect. He came back, and uh, what he said was absolutely wild. Check it out, and I'll see you.